Hey guys, welcome to The Rundown, my new YouTube channel. Now this channel is in association with my main channel. However, over here you're going to find some video follow-ups, everyday blogging, uh, some simple shop tips, as well as simple and quick projects that you can make in your shop. And to start off, I'm going to show you how to make this simple springtime project. It's a plant trolley. Now this trolley is one of the simplest things to come out of my shop in a while, and it's very useful for transporting those big potted plants around your patio or porch. So what you're going to need to make this trolley is some half-inch spacer blocks, some casters and you can usually pick them up in the pair they come in a set of two for about three dollars each some scrap wood we're going to use seven two inch pieces of scrap wood and some various screws i've got some inch and a quarter screws here and some five eighths inch screws to get started we're going to take our seven pieces of three quarter inch scrap wood and we're going to cut it down to 12 inches in length and two inches in width Next you want to get some half inch spacer blocks. These are five inches in length and about an inch and a half wide. The width is not really a big deal. Uh, just something wider than three quarters of an inch. And what you want to do is go ahead and line all of them up and mark a line down the center, which is two and a half inches from each edge. Next you want to take five of your two inch wide pieces and get them lined up so you can make a mark down the center of them. What you want to do is once you have all the edges in line, measure over six inches and make a mark. From there you want to take your half inch spacer blocks and put it between your five pieces. Go ahead and use the other two pieces that are left over to kind of get everything in line and then line up your center marks on your spacers and on your actual pieces. Once everything's in line, go ahead and take a clamp to hold everything together. With everything in line, go ahead and add some strips of glue and take your two remaining pieces and butt them up against your spacers and flush with one end. After the glue is added, go ahead and add screws to the three center pieces. Depending on the type of wood you use, you may need to pre-drill. These screws are self-drilling, wood screws. From there, get yourself four small clamps and clamp each corner of the two end pieces and allow that glue to sit up for a little bit. You can go ahead and remove your center clamp as well as your spacers. Okay guys, once the glue dries, as it stands, if you wanted to, you could add your four casters and have yourself a very neat looking square trolley. But if you'd like a round trolley such as this one, then we'll move on to the next step. To take your square trolley and make a round one, all you need to do is mark over on your center rung six inches and make a mark. From end to end, mark again six inches and make an intersection there. Next, you can take an awl or a small brad nail and punch a hole. Once you make your center mark, over here on the table saw, I have a very simple circle cutting jig which is made up of a half inch piece of plywood and a three quarter inch runner that fits in my miter trap. On this circle cutting jig, where the blade cuts against this edge, I have a line marked and measured over five and seven eighths of an inch and I have a little brad nail sticking in here. Now, in order to find the location of this brad nail, I simply just measured the width of my half inch piece, found the center, and then from this edge, I marked over five and seven eighths of an inch and put the brad nail in. From here, all we need to do is line up our center punch hole that we just put into our trolley and stick it onto this brad that's sticking up out of the circle cutter. This will allow it to spin on the circle cutting jig. How I like to cut my circles is to raise my blade up and cut off each corner until all the corners are gone and then slowly round it off.
with the circle cut out, I'll now go ahead and add four screws on these end pieces here where we did not put a screw. All right guys, once you have those last four screws in, you can go ahead and sand and clean up your edges and apply a finish to it if you'd like. Uh, I use the Ultimate Spar Varnish Finish from Rust-Oleum. It's a semi-gloss exterior, but it's excellent for water protecting and weather protecting your trolley. Once you put the finish on, you can go ahead and add your four casters. For these casters, which are inch and five eighths roller casters with a weight limit of 50 pounds, I go ahead and use these number six five eighths inch screws. All right, well, that's the rundown on this simple springtime project. Now, be sure to subscribe to this channel to get the rundown on other projects like this, as well as shop tips, follow-ups from my main video channel, and just all-around happenings in the shop. Till next time, guys. See you soon.